Bodium is one of the most picturesque of all of Britain's medieval castles. And it's no wonder, for it is a site that has been chosen for many television and film productions. Few villages have such elegant gardens as the Wilmington Giant. It stands 230 foot high, outlined in white against the green turf of Windover Hill. Its age is older than that of the village, believed to date back to prehistoric times. This majestic range of hills, the South Downs, start in the neighbouring county of Hampshire, just outside the ancient town of Winchester. And they come to an abrupt end. A few miles from here, at Beachy Head. Steam railways are an instant source of nostalgia for anyone who can remember when these giants used to cut a line of steam across the skyline. Today, young and old alike come in their hundreds to visit the many preserved railway lines that are dotted across Britain. The author, Rudyard Kipling, moved to Burwash in 1902. He was to live here at Batemans for 34 years until his death in 1936. The Rose Garden and Pond were his special creation, a haven from the outside world in which he was able to gain the inspiration for many of his books. Winchelsea stands high above the surrounding countryside protected from the sea, which in the 13th century left the original town in ruins. Its fine buildings and carefully planned roads are partly the result of royal patronage, for Edward I took a special interest in its rebuilding after the great storm. Place of martyrdom. For one Sunday during high mass, the French attacked the town. When they came upon the church, they found it full of worshippers in prayer and without mercy slew everyone, leaving none alive. The blood of the martyred townsfolk has penetrated into the ground here and there is a divine presence, a place worthy of quiet meditation. The fishermen of Hastings carry on a long tradition with the sea that goes back over a thousand years. In the 12th century, Hastings was the most important harbour in southern England and the chief sink port. The original harbour covered most of the area between Hastings and St Leonard's and was guarded over by a Norman castle on West Hill. Villages that appear to have changed little over the centuries and retain that old world charm so attractive to visitors. New Haven is the only port in Sussex to be accessible for seagoing vessels at all states of the tide. Though comparatively small, it plays an important role in our maritime trade, linking passenger and cargo ships with the European continent. Nowhere can the contrast between history and science be more prominent than here at Hurstman Zoo. The castle was, until recently, the home of the Royal Greenwich Observatory. Mysterious buildings where astronomers nightly gaze out into the universe, searching out the secrets of pulsars and quasars. And breathtaking views like the Seven Sisters, which remain indelibly stored in the memory long after we have gone home. <laughs> 